Gormagor. Gormagor, top daily ways to follow. I too, I'm, I'm thinking this evening, I'm not supporting the retention of this minister. And there are lots of issues uh, that you can be dealing with rather than have this wheel in here every year. I want to say I support the KRD, and indeed I have a GAD member at home at the moment in, in, in care in Tipperary, one of the finest community GAD ever, who had to go to a case last Wednesday on his own, a dangerous case, and was almost killed. And this is shocking, Minister. I your watch is happening every day of the week, and the Commissioner, and the Assistant Commissioner, Deputy Commissioners, Chief Superintendents, and indeed Superintendents, who put these people out of here. And the call centre in Cork, who got this call from this dangerous individual who have a record a mile long. And I spoke to the guard, and I wish him well, on Sunday, and he asked me to raise it here. He was almost killed. No backup. He was the only guard on duty out in patrol in the Care Castle district when he got that call, one in the station. This is a shocking situation and it's happening in a daily basis, hourly basis, day and night, because the Gardaí are being pulled and dragged all over the country. Um, I spoke to the GRA rep yesterday who told me they have um, six requests already this week for concerts in Dublin, for big games on, and God knows what. And uh, the Gardaí in a country area is not, is not being policed. This man, good, excellent officer, I hope he recovers. He was almost lost his life because he had no backup. He knew going to the station, I commend him. He knew going to the college, he had no backup. The nearest guard was happening in Cloheen. The nearest guard that might be available was Clonmel, which is a different district, or Mitchellstown. Thankfully, the RIS UCAM, the ER UCAM, eventually uh, went and, and, and arrested and apprehended that, that gentleman who was in jail, who was being in and out of jail. At, at, the, at the control centre, I blame him as well. They saw on the computer in front of them who they were dealing with and what kind of individual they were dealing with and send their own guard out to that situation is intolerable, unacceptable, disgraceful by you and by the, the gathered authorities. And it's happening night and day, 24-7, all over. The, and we keep raising it here. You'll quote out how many are coming into, into Templemore. You told me last week, I think, 220 expected. I'm told it'll be lucky to be 120. So give over the game, please, and the show-offs in Dublin and the big supports out in the country where we need the GRD. They're doing their best and we'll support them, 99% of the GRD, and put them into that kind of place. Here's a wife and family. My God, I could have been here talking tonight on, on, on the death of a Garda. And it's not good enough to have communities been terrorised. I canvassed that area three weeks ago, and I was told the whole community are living in fear of this individual. So these dangerous individuals are not being dealt with, but they expect the Garda to go out on his own. All the female Garda under one, they're doing it. I spoke to them, they're in patrol cars at 3 o'clock in the morning with nobody with them, and no backup, and no one does no backup. An area from Aridlan to Bohalahan, Athlin and Keir, towns of Keir, Cashel, two tourist towns. One guard on duty. I hate having to be this in here tonight, but I have to. And it's time, Minister, that you took responsibility and acted to support uh, that guard and his, and his colleagues.